Hi guys, I'm Ramiz, the developer of Avocado and the co-founder of Binary Lunar. In today's video, I'll show you how to create an easy outline with the glowy effect. Also, I'll show you how to animate that by changing the color without any single line of code. We will be using only the shader graph and the camera post-processing effects to reach res this result you are seeing on the screen now. I'm so thankful for your support, we reached 300 subscribers within a short time that's encouraged us to do more videos. So let's get started. Create new Unity 2D project. Go to Window, Package Manager and install the Universal RP. Now right click in the project panel, create rendering, universal pipeline, pipeline asset forward renderer and name it to Revit 2D renderer. Then assign that to be the default renderer in both graphics and quality settings. I like to set my camera background to black to get a better view of the glow. For this video I got a random PNG photo from the internet, I provided the link in the description. We will use that to apply the shader on it. Before we start building the shader, let's not forget to enable the HDR in the renderer. Now create shader to the renderer sprite unlit graph. I named it glowy outline shader. Open the shader graph. Create new texture 2D property and set the reference to underscore main text to as a reference to our sprite. Then drag our sprite as a default value. Then create sample texture 2D node. Link the texture we just created to the texture uh, place. The idea of the outline shader is so simple. I'll be using the alpha of any sprite to create the outline by using the step node and create two variations of the step, then deduct the two steps from each other to reach the outline, then I will color the outline and add the outline to the sprite. So that's it in a simple way. So let's start by creating a step node. Leave the X input to zero, then create another step node. Then create a property, name it outline thickness. It's a vector one and set that to be a slider between zero and 0 0.99 because one means we will be filling all the screen with the alpha. I think we don't need to happen. Then link the outline thickness with the second step. Then we subtract the both steps to reach the outline. Make sure you subtract the step above from the step below to get the outline. Now to color the outline, we need a property color. Name it outline color. Set the mode to HDR. Make sure that the alpha is zero so the outline blends nicely with the sprite. And choose a color you like, maybe we set it to yellow for now. Also increase the intensity to something like two to show the glow when we enable the post-processing. And finally add the colored outline to the RGBA of our sprite. Then link the output to the color in the master node. Save the shader. Now we need to create a material to hold that shader. So create a new material, name it Outline Mat. mat. Then drag the shader onto the material, then drag that material to our clip art or sprite. You can see that we started to see the outline. We can control the thickness and we can change the color from the properties we created. Now to enable the glow, you need to go to the camera add a volume component, create a new profile and do an override for the blue, set the threshold to 0 0.9 and 
the intensity to something like 0.5 also you can increase the scatter to 0.8 and don't forget to set the post processing on to start seeing the glow in the game tab and to make the outline look smoother you can enable the anti-aliasing from the camera now we can animate that glow by creating new animation name it color changing you can also do another animation like a pulsing light by playing with the intensity of the light but for now i'll show you how to create this color changing after creating the new animation just hit record and change the color to set the start color then move the timer to, uh, to another location to set a new keyframe change the color and repeat the process just make sure that the final color has been set to the same as the start color by copying the start frame to the end frame we hit play we can see that the animation is so fast to get that smooth transition between colors we need to, to slow down the speed by decreasing the samples to something like 10 i think it looks nice now and that's it we created an awesome glowy outline without using any single line of code i hope you enjoyed watching this video please leave comments below what you think about it uh, also your suggestion for the next video are welcome thanks always for your support don't forget to subscribe like and share and of course we're deeply grateful for our supporters on patreon don't forget that our patrons can get access to download all our projects and experiments till next video see you soon